This is a scooter, or is it a bike? Scooter, bike, bike, scooter, whatever you want to call it, its real name is the Gilera DNA 180, and it's already established itself as a twist and go scooter. It's the official scooter of the Motor GP series, and it's available in three forms. There's a 50cc, which has been a great hit with the kids. There's a 125, but today I've got my mitts on this one. It's the 180. Well, they say big is better, so let's take a look. is a very competent automatic with handling not dissimilar from that of big wheeled scoots. Its 14 inch wheels give the bike a larger turning circle than other scoots but this doesn't detract from the fun to be had on one of these bikes. Conventional step through designs have been overlooked in favour of this big bike orientated styling. The DNA also has a host of bike X features. It's got a neat little rev counter sat in this funky dash. It's made from a twin spar alley frame and it's got disc brakes front and rear. And all these things combine to make a very different scooter indeed. The engine, Piaggio's four-stroke leader lump, pumps out as much power as any equivalent two-stroke motor and is also liquid cooled, making any tuning you might fancy a possibility. Now the great thing about this engine is the automatic gearbox which makes the bike accessible to all. Similar to their own runner, the DNA is a barrel of fun to ride, making even a trip to work a pleasurable experience. Yes, I did say commute to work, because this engine will quite happily propel this bike to speeds of up to 75 miles per hour. And unlike other motorbikes, lift up this area which looks like the tank and you'll find room to store your helmet. Price-wise, the Daddy DNA sits favourably next to the other sporty, larger capacity scoots with an on-the-road price of 2649. Now in handling terms, the DNA is more bike than scooter. It turns into corners well and it holds the line better than most. There are limits however, the DNA is still a scooter underneath and although the engine produces a fair amount of power, the initial throttle response is a little sluggish, certainly compared to the 50 and the 125 versions. However, on the upside, you have this sporty riding position and these little foot pegs to perch on, giving you more of a feel of what's going on underneath. You know, riding this bike, I almost feel like I'm cheating. I'm fooling people into thinking that I can ride a big motorbike. But the thing is, I don't care because I've had heaps of fun on it all day. And if you're a learner, you've just passed your test, whatever, you don't want any gears to think about until you've built up your confidence, then a bike like this is perfect. It really is in a class of its own. Performance, 7 out of 10. It's got a reasonably powerful engine, but it is a little bit on the porky side and its lack of throttle response means it's not so handy around town. Try before you buy. Do try the 50 and the 125 versions. You'll probably find them a little more responsive. Comfort, oh dear, 6 out of 10 I'm afraid. You see, the thing is, when you first hop on the DNA, it feels fine, nice and comfy, great for a trip to work or a little shopping expedition. The problem is, you'd think the 180 is suitable for a longer journey, but 20 minutes in the saddle and that comfort factor soon diminishes. Only a 6. Build quality, 7 out of 10. Now the Gileras are not particularly well put together, but you can forgive the odd wonky headlight and the small gaps in the bodywork because they've used fine quality materials. They're Italians, you see. Now the question is, is it value for money? It's priced at 2649 for this 180 model, and it's definitely one of the cheaper big scoops out there on the market. So if you're looking for something with big bike looks, no gears to worry about, and just want to tootle around on a scooter, then I think we should give it 8 out of 10. I think it's a fair price, don't you? 
And as for street cred, whew, a whopping 9 out of 10. If this doesn't make your average city slicker do a double take, then nothing will. It's got far more than your average twist and go, loads of street cred, it's right up there.